is Armenia. This is Turkey. Remember, this is what we are studying. And this is where, you know, like Chechenia, North Ossetia, all this uh, independence republic, republics in Russia that want to have independence. And they are the one, Chechenia is the one responsible for the bombing of the subway in Moscow. Right? So this is the area. So this is really very unsettled area. This is what we call North Transcaucasus. This is Caucasus, and we have this Ossetia, which is part of Georgia, but becoming independent, and this area is we call North Ossetia. Bay, outside Tia, now outside here. And this is where Chechenia is, okay? And this is the Jigstan, another stan here. So those are all very much violent, volatile areas here. Okay, just let you know. Okay, go back to uh, our Nobel Prize. Uh, because they were doing fine uh, earlier, so people said maybe these two countries, uh, Turkey and Armenia, who are reconciling, they should be given Nobel Prize. Okay, so why don't we start here? with our Nobel Prize, Chen Yi Jun. Yeah. Volatile. Okay, so here, uh, will the winner of the next Nobel Peace Prize be the leader of the adversaries? What do you mean by adversaries? Like Pu uh, Yuan Tai Ying or Yankee and Boston's, uh, uh, Red Sox, huh? Okay, Ad adversaries. Okay, so here the leaders of them, Turkey and Armenia, should they win the next Nobel Prize? Pre so who won the last one, Obama. Mr. Chen? Who won the last one? Obama. Obama. Did he deserve it? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The United States just, you know, signed the treaty. They're going to reduce nuclear weapons with Russia. You know, from currently they have, uh, in Russia they have 2,500 nuclear warheads. United States has 2,000. And both of them are going to reduce to 1,500 nuclear warheads. Okay, so it's a reduction. Obama said he's trying to create, we call a nuclear-free world. What does that mean, nuclear-free? Have you drink something, say, caffeine-free, or, you know, or drink something sugar-free? What do you mean by that? Uh, no, no caffeine. No caffeine or no sugar, uh, or fat-free, no fat. Uh-huh. Calorie free? Do we have? No, we only have a low calorie, right? Mm, low fat. Oh, by the way, you know, my youngest son, when he was little, um, my father visited us. And I have two sons. One is, the older son is a little bit skinnier, the little one is a little bit choppy. So we are giving him low fat milk, right? Low fat, you know. And so he asked my father, my father just said, you know, oh, you know, uh, for, my, for, for his, for my father's oldest, the first grandson, right, very important one, uh, he should have, the, you know, the, the vitamin D, you know, the full milk, okay, regular milk. And the younger one, too fat, low-fat milk. 
誒做埋埋埋入埋生食。啊、uh, ，Grandpa， am I drinking the low fat milk because I'm low in fat？ <笑> OK， so so let's low fat， low calorie。OK， but 啊、uh, ，you're going to have nuclear free， so maybe Obama is on into something worthwhile。He's going to sign this nuclear reduction, or uh, uh, we call it strategic weapons uh, arms reduction treaty, with Russian president next week uh, in Czechoslovakia, where he a year ago also gave a speech about the nuclear free world. So anyway, I think Obama is into something. So maybe he was encouraged by his Nobel Peace <laughs> Award. Right to do something to justify, so he's doing something. But uh, maybe Armenia and Turkey, if they can find something, uh, but it's not every day that two neighbor, but neighboring but not neighboring. Now, do we have what does that mean? Neighboring but not na- neighbor neighborly. <coughs> Mr. Chen, neighboring but not neighbor. They don't look like neighbors. They don't have friendship. Okay, uh, neighborly is like good neighbor relations. Uh, it's like you will go to your next door uh, to borrow some. Usually, it's what sugar, oil. Usually, it's oil. What else do you borrow from your next door? I don't think we do that anymore. Hmm? I mean, we are not very neighborly, don't you think? Nowadays, like you all live in the apartments, and we don't even have our name plaque outside our mailbox like before. When I was a little kid, outside my house, you know, the door said Yan Yu. Nowadays, like you visit a friend, oh, I forgot which floor. You know, there is no sign there. Like this is Mr. Chen. Or this is Mr. Lee, and you go to the United States. They still have that name. We don't do it anymore. I mean, we're not very neighborly. We have a lot of neighbors now than before, right? But we are not very neighborly. We don't even know who lives right next door <coughs> uh, until someone dies. Ooh, bad smell. Ooh, <laughs> a body. Uh? So that's what we call neighborly. Okay, neighborly means good relation with your neighbor. Uh, Turkey and. Turkey and、uh, Armenia didn't have one.、Uh, how about China? China, do they have good relation with anyone? Oh yeah, Myanmar. Okay, Myanmar. I think they have good relation with Myanmar. I don't think they have good relation with Vietnam. Not very good. They they had a war before, right? China had a war with India before. China always nervous with Russia. China,、uh, Pakistan. Where is that border? I don't think they can. They touch. You know, there is a controversial Pamir here, but otherwise it's separated. Okay,、uh, Mongolia fine.、Uh, North Korea not necessarily good. They have some refugee into there. Not good with Taiwan. Not good with、uh, Japan. I think was good with Laos. But recently, have you heard something? Vietnam, Laos, and Thailand are happy with China. Why? Because of the drought, <laughs> the Mekong River don't have water. They have all the, you know, dams upstreams,、right? keeping the water. So、um, that's what we call neighborly.、Huh? And yet China is the one who always talk about neighborly.、Uh, Hu Jintao said something called oh, Mu Lin, right? San、uh, He. Okay, so so those those are the one here、uh, we have. So、uh, neighborly is very important. Good neighborhood, neighborly, neighborly country,、uh, neighborly relations. Okay, overcome a century of deep hostility.、Uh, that most strategic and volatile, Mr. Chen. What is volatile? Volatile means things change really fast. Okay, it's not very stable. Ch- things change really s- very fast. I'll give you one example. Like last week, 
what area is also volatile? Yellow sea. Where is yellow sea? Okay, yeah, between Korea and China, right? This is the Yellow Sea here. And you know that island, little island they have where the, the, the naval ship uh, sunk? It's very close to North Korea here. It's almost like Taiwan's Jingmen and Mazu. And like, you know, hours from the main part of South Korea. It's, it's very close to North Korea. Uh, that's the only island that, you know, capped by South Korea. It's like the further west and northwest part of the territory. So, uh, you have a volatile, people will always talk about volatile. So, Korean Peninsula is always one, right? What, where else can you think of volatile area? You know, a big region, people always say, oh, Middle East. Huh? Always volatile. Israel with its neighbors. Uh, can we say Australia being volatile? No, never. I mean, so boring. Nothing happened. <laughs> okay. But we will, sometimes we will say Taiwan Strait, you know, being volatile. So our president is not doing a good job. He has delete, uh, deleted or a, a get rid of, gotten rid of this term, volatile, from our Taiwan Strait. Ma huh? Yin-jeou deprived us a opportunity for volatility. Ma huh? Yin-jeou reconciling with China, so we, do, we are no longer you know, fast changing uh, in Taiwan Strait. So that's volatile, okay? The crossroads, especially in that area. Uh, volatile, uh, which area in Europe is also volatile before? People will always use that word volatile for Europe, for this European part. Uh, Norway, no, I don't think it's Norway. Balkans, Peninsula, hmm? Balkan Peninsula, former Yugoslavia, okay, can be volatile. Okay, so you understand volatile now. Liao uh, Hangwei. Okay, next. Zurich. Rick. Divisive. Okay, where is Zurich? Oh, there is a Zurich bank in Taipei, right? Where is Zurich? Which country? I mean, people like to go to those countries to sign peace deal. I mean, why don't they go to Somalia? Hmm? They always go to this nice country called Switzerland, right, uh, to sign. Okay, so in Zurich, Switzerland, uh, they sign uh, both diplomats from, you know, Christian country. Which one is Christian? Turkey or Armenia? Armenia. Armenia is Christian. Turkey is Muslim. Okay, now again, we have these two words again, historic and historical commission. What's the difference? Historic and historical, again. Right, we have a historic agreement and a historical commission.
Which one? Historic? Historical. Historical. Just okay. Something of the past, right? So, uh, historical is of the history. So, a commission, historical commission means a commission of historians studying something about some history. Okay? Historic is like just one word, right? Wow. Okay, that's historic. Wow. Uh, so, you have an agreement. Wow. Uh, so, that's the word. Uh, sign the agreement because uh, usually you're not going to see that happen. So, that's historic. Hmm. We might have one next month, huh? Am I right? No, not next month. In May or June, between Taiwan and China, the ACFA. People probably will use that word, historic. Who knows? Okay? Uh, so, here, a provision. What do we mean by provision? Means one of the lines, Chao Wen, okay, says there should be a historical commission. To look at the deeply divisive, what do you mean by divisive? Hmm. Divisive. Uh, people would say something like, oh, uh, President Bush is a divisive figure. Why? Bush said, you're either with us or you're against us. Right? Uh, someone who is more unifying, uh, Obama might be more unifying. So divisive, you understand divisive, just you know, separating uh, issues. Uh, people have just, you know, we call dio, diametrically opposed view. This is a from geometry, am I right? Dia Okay, diametrically opposed. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Right? So that's the two two sides, okay? Diametrically opposed view. So that's uh, what we call deeply divisive. Okay. Huang Jianyuan. No. Zhang Shuzhen. Yeah. Caspian. Okay, here, uh, Armenia impoverished, poor, the tiniest of the Soviet republics. Uh, most of them are bigger than Armenia. Hugs the southern tip. I love that word. Should, can we say Taiwan? Hug the southern tip of the East China Sea. Okay, so here, okay, Armenia, hug the southern tip of the Transcaucasian, Transcaucasus, right? Uh, so that's meaning hug. The tinderbox, what do you mean by tinderbox? When you call a region a tinderbox, what does that mean? Ready to explode any time. Okay, just a, a a place that is likely to explode. Uh, between the Caspian, uh, how do we translate Caspian Sea in Chinese? I don't know why we do that. Like inner, huh? Why inner sea? Lehigh Caspian. Why? Uh, I think it's not connected to any major sea. It's a lake. No, it's a sea. So big. Bigger than Taiwan. Ooh. <laughs> Five or six times, right? <laughs> but it's, it's, 
it's landlocked. Okay, it's inside here. But Black Sea, why why Black Sea is not called Li Hai? No. Black Sea here. Ooh, there are two straits here. Remember Bosporus. 什么波斯普鲁斯海峡，还有一个什么？达达尼尔海峡 ，something Dardanelles. Okay, so they go through here and connect to the Aegean Sea, Aegean Sea, 爱琴海 and then to the Mediterranean Sea, and through this little Gibraltar to Atlantic Ocean. So they all connected here, except Caspian. Okay, so Caspian is separate. That's why we call Li Hai. So here, uh, share a border north with Georgia. Georgia was invaded by Russia in two thousand eight, and Georgia in two thousand eight. This is Georgia, here, little country called Georgia. Good friend of United States, but always like to irritate Russia. So someone wrote a piece in two thousand eight saying. Hey, this is very much like Taiwan. You have a good friend in the United States, but very far away from you. Huh? And why are you doing something to challenge your big neighbor? Huh? Uh, we we did that before, right? Uh, little Taiwan here challenging China. Little Georgia here challenging Russia. And then the good friend is oh very far away, called United States, right? So they said, hey. Even though you have a good friend, but too far to help you, don't do something stupid. Okay, this is American wrote. Okay, American wrote that piece comparing Georgia and Taiwan, and Georgia was invaded by Russia in two thousand eight. Okay. Next one, Guo Rong, Guo De, Guo Denfeng. Okay. NATO. Corridor. Okay, you you understand what is a corridor door? Corridor, 走廊 What does that mean? People pass away, pass away. You know, passing it, right? So long means something like Taiwan can be also a corridor from Southeast Asia to Northeast Asia. 所有东西，哦，这个怎么那么差 ？Okay, something from here going through, always going through Taiwan Strait, right? So this is also a corridor in a way. Ah,、uh, China goes through Europe. There is a 什么？我们叫什么？河西走廊丝路。Okay, so that's a corridor as well. So Turkey, ah,、uh, doesn't look like a corridor, but it's a corridor for what? For Russia and Caspian, you know, countries like Ah Ah Azerbaijan, they have a lot of oil. So all this oil and gas goes through Turkey pipeline to Europe. So Turkey just sit there and you know getting all the pipeline. And I love all this pipeline goes through Russia,、uh, goes through East Europe, like Ukraine. They would say, "Okay, can I steal something from here?" <laughs>、uh, you know, like the pipeline going through、uh, your country. You should take what do we call? 买路费是吧？过路费，过路费。Okay, 买路钱，过路费。Okay, so that's and so Turkey doesn't want to have any problem called zero problem. Okay, now zero problem. There is another term people like to use called zero tolerance. What does that mean? Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. How many? What does that mean? Zero tolerance.、Hmm? Mr. Guo, what does that mean? Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. What does that mean?
For example, if your mom said, you know, if I count to three and you will not stop, I will do something. Some mom just said, one, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. And, uh, okay, so a zero tolerance mom would say, one, two, three, pia. That's what we call a zero tolerance, okay? If you're still, you know, saying, oh, you know, I don't want to eat this, you know, that's zero tolerance, okay? Being wrong, some mom will say, you know, 2.5, 2 2.3, uh, 2.7. Uh, so zero tolerance, like, especially in drugs, in law enforcement, people talk about that word, zero tolerance. You know, just we will not tolerate anything. You know? uh -huh. But here, zero problems. Turkey doesn't want to have any problem with its neighbors. Okay, big country now. Uh, Yan Ziqing. Yeah, next. <coughs> no, 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 regional. Okay, so here, uh, stability could flow, means it could be coming in, and also more oil and gas. If two countries sign the agreement and ratify, they sign, but, you know, the parliament ratify. Now, what do you mean by ratify? Oh, approve, okay, by the, especially by parliament, by Congress. So, for example, United States and Russia sign this strategic arms reduction treaty. They're going to reduce the nuclear warheads. And it has to be ratified by the American Senate. 美国参议院要批准. So how many votes do you need to ratify a treaty? Not 50 percent, two-third majority. Okay? But this one, I think, will be ratified. So that's what we call ratify. And some people say in Taiwan, we also need to ratify what? ECFA. You know, maybe our government and Chinese authority, I love that word. We don't call government, we call authority. Because government means you recognize that it's a different country. So they will say Taipei authority. Taipei uh, Zhizhen Dangju. Okay, so authority will sign this. But our legislature, Legislative Yuan said we need to ratify. Okay, so that's what we call ratification. And if it, Ms. Yan, what do you mean by if it? Uncertain. Okay, if it, if it, like, uh, can you jo go to this party? Uh, if if, you know, like, we don't, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, so here, not certain, uh, especially gay gapping, uh, 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 gaping, okay, gaping historical rift means big, big, wow, such a different difference separating these two countries. Uh, and genocide, result of war, I think this is the same thing uh, from Taiwan or China with Japan. Uh, Nanking massacre, Nanjing Da Tusa, Japan will say what? Nanjing incident. Okay? Uh, so that's the word you're going to use. Uh, incident. Zhou Ming Han. Yeah. Karabaki. Nagoro Karabaki. Nearby. Nearby. Uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Oh, in China, they, what do they translate? Azerbaijan. Okay. 
Okay, continue. Contingent. Okay. Uh, remember, try to pronounce Armenia, uh, because it, otherwise it's more like ammonia. Uh, Armenia uh, is different. Okay. So here, another one problem. Frozen conflict. What do you mean by frozen? Conflict. A conflict that is frozen. I think we have a frozen conflict with China now. <laughs> kind of frozen. Frozen means it is something, it's there, but no longer, you know, uh, surface. So here, this is, a, remember, what do we call enclave in Chinese? Do you remember? Feidi. Huh. I don't know why Feidi. Again, Fei, Feidi. It's almost like Xin Zhu Shi is a Fei Di. Why? Hmm? Why Xin Zhu Shi is a Fei Di? Mr. Zhou, do you know? You are in Xin Zhu. Xin Zhu is a Fei Di. Okay, now, you know Xin Zhu City? Surrounded by what? By Xin Zhu County. And south of Xin, Xin Zhu City is what? <laughs> South of Jinzhu city is which county? Miaoli. Okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> and north of Jinzhu county is what? Taoyuan county. Okay, so in the southern part of Taoyuan county, and Jinzhu county, and Miaoli county, all these are Hakka place, right? But Xinzhu city is Mingnan. So Xinzhu city is the Mingnan enclave in the Hakka region. Okay, that's why we call enclave. Okay, so Fei Di, Xuan Xuan Fei Di, Xuan Ba. Okay, so you understand Fei Di now. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we show you the map. One of the, you know, one of your article has that map that there is this Nagorno, uh, uh, Karabaki place inside Azerbaijan. That's interesting, okay? Uh, but here, the Azerbaijan said, hey, Turkey, we are friends. So you cannot just separately go to have a good time with Armenia without trying to settle this problem. So contingent, what do you mean by contingent? Contingent, for example, Mr. Joe, you want to go to watch a movie. Uh, I don't, you're a college student, I should not use this example. Like your parents said, yeah, I will you know, provide you all this, you know, you, know, you, you know, I'll pay for your ticket, provided you pass Professor Yen's class. That would be contingent on passing Professor Yen's class. Contingent, what does that mean? Depending, right? If you pass, Tiao uh, Z contingent. Okay, uh, so that's the word contingent. Uh, depending on, you know, with Armenia, contingent on resolving the conflict. The conflict of where? And Gorno, okay, Karabaki. That's the area you try to solve the conflict. Then Turkey, you can have a good relation with Armenia. Otherwise, please don't. Oh, by the way, today we will not take a break. We will leave early, okay? So if you cannot hold your back, you can go to the restroom, okay, in between. I don't want to create some kidney problem. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, next one, uh, Xiao Nai Xing. Yeah. Abdullah, uh huh. Says, 
ซาเซียซาเซียนโอเค so chest high hurdle this is hurdle right do you have you ran hurdles no never try like you know I'm not talking about high hurdle you know I think the girls usually run for low hurdles right ดีไรยังไม่跑过ดีไรยังไม่跑ยังไม่跳那个没有啊跨栏呀跨低栏你们叫女生是低栏嘛 right 男生是高栏嘛是不是 Am I right, or are you doing that at all now? You know, run and then you know you jump and then run another hurdle, hurdle, hurdle. So that's hurdle. Okay. Ah, uh, some people think this is hurdle. Some people think this is hurdle. Depends on how you can jump. But chest high, I think that's hurdle. Chest high. <laughs> okay. More re remarkable because uh, you you do have. The two president want to reconcile, right? Abdullah Gul of Turkey and also Sir uh, Sasian of uh, Armenia. Uh, wow, soccer game. That's important. Why? Hmm? Can you imagine today, Ma Injo and Tsai Ing-wen go to Taiwan's professional baseball and? You know, they throwing the first pitch together, or Chai Ing Wen is the catcher, Ma Ying Jiu is the pitcher, <laughs> huh? That we call reconciliation, right? But also baseball is very Taiwan, soccer is very Turkey and Armenia. Now, can you tell me why soccer is so Turkey? Oh, you say two or two, it's like a two. No. <laughs> How many of you remember? In 2002, eight years ago, Turkey was in the final four. Okay, Turkey has a good soccer team. Okay, they were in the final four World Cup. So, big, very important sport in Turkey. Ah, uh, but right now I think they also very good in basketball right now. Because of uh, Tuguru, or you know, some of the players. Uh, but anyway, this is important games. Uh, Armenia, uh, which doesn't have a very good team, but uh, that's the only sport <laughs> they do. Okay, soccer. So very important, symbolic in Taiwan will be a baseball game. So your professor probably will try to arrange Ma Injiu and Tsai Ing-wen to English, right? Shuang Ying. Uh, to have a baseball, you know, first pitch, uh, throwing out first pitch, and one is the catcher, one is the pitcher. So you have reconciliation. Okay. Next one, Lin Ruofan. Driven, driver, but driven. Okay, here. What do you mean by senior opinion makers? Uh, it's almost like uh, in Taiwan, who will be a senior opinion maker? Nan Fang Shuo, Li Jia Tong. Okay, uh, is Li Jia Tong still part of Tsinghua? Yes. Okay, so so those are. Oh, you guys now have one more. What's his name? Oh, your current lieutenant governor. Not. The other one. The other one. Liu Zhong. Liu Zhong. Okay. So these are opinion makers. Ah, uh, so. 
And then intellectual. Intellectual means, you know, people with knowledge on both sides uh, already discuss the issue before this public diplomacy. I'll give you one. Poland and Germany, when they reconcile before, or Germany and France, what did they do? Before everything, both sides, they have their historians got together and write a common history book. So you will not be one-sided, like, oh, German, all evil, right? You know, occupying France. So they try to present an objective fact about German, France, Germany, France, and later Germany and Poland. Both sides can accept a, a, a real history, you know, not the patriotic side. Now, Japan and China, they also did that. They wrote history together for East Asia, and most being published uh, before 19th century. Okay, I think both sides can agree. That's already a big breakthrough. Why? Because in China, what do we think of Japanese history? We say, oh, it started when uh, Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor, right? We have a, a guy called Xu Fu. They, he was, uh, what, 15 pairs of boys and girls? Okay, they went to Japan, and that's how Japanese history started. Okay, now, Qin Shi Huang, what century? Yeah, 2nd century BC, or actually 3rd century BC. Now, Japanese history started about 7th century BC. Okay, so I think we cut 400 years out. And how about Korean history? We said, who went to Korea to start Korean history? Oh, this patriot of Song Dynasty who will not serve the Zhou master. Okay. He doesn't want to serve the Zhou Dynasty, so he and his descendant went to Korea. So what was the year of that? 1111 11 BC. E E E E B C. And Korean history, according to their version, started at 2332 BC. So we cut 1,200 years of Korean history. Okay, of course, I don't think we can agree. So we have to come up with a common version uh, of East Asian history. When does Korean history really start? Uh, Korean also think they have longer history and more civil life because all the cultures, you know, all the potteries are uh, going through Korea to Japan. Okay? But anyway, that's how you reconcile, you write a common history of East Asia. But then, when they write to the modern period, okay, both sides, I know the, the, the people, both sides finish writing like a book about the modern history. Both governments would not accept the version. The Korean, but the, I'm sorry, the Japanese side would say, how can you write this? And the Chinese are saying, oh, you traitors. So, which means probably they are writing the real thing, right? Because both sides cannot accept. You know, if one side accept, must be bad, okay? But both sides cannot accept. So that's what we call reconciliation. Write a common history. Uh, that would be difficult. Even like in Taiwan, can we write a, a single version of history about the 228 incidents? There's still different interpretation. So very difficult, okay? So that's why you have those intellectuals on both sides already talk, talk, you know, what really happened. Some of the Turkish intellectual acknowledge, yeah, that was a genocide. So preceded, what do you mean by precede? Ms. Lin, preceded? Yeah, what do you mean by preceded? The public diplomacy, what do you mean by preceded? Happened before. Okay, so they already did it. And Armenia who want to break out their landlock and poor economy. So give me another landlock country in Asia. Can you give me one? Miss Lin? What do you mean by landlock? 
So give me one country in Asia that is a Nei Lu Guo. Mongolia. Okay, good. Uh, how about here? In Indochina. Indo China. Zhongnan We also have one. Uh, I don't think it's Vietnam. I don't think it's Thailand. I don't think it's Burma. Which one? Laos. Okay, Liao Guo. Yeah, that's a landlock. Okay, uh, now do we have a landlock county in Taiwan? Yeah, we have one. Where? Okay, do we have a landlocked province in China? A lot. <laughs> but which one is so close to ocean to sea? But it's landlocked. The one closest to the, like, oh, I can see it. Uh, somewhere here called Guangxi. Huh? Very close. I think there is also one here called Heilongjiang. Not Heilongjiang, Jilingshan, I think, Jiling. You know, somewhere here. Uh, very close to Sea of Japan. Oh, just separated by Russia and North Korea here. Just a little, okay? So we call it landlock. So you know landlock here. Uh, they want to have normal relation with Turkey and Turkey being driven by business interests uh, and zero problem diplomacy policy. Zhang Yuquan. Zhang Yuquan, yeah. Okay, hear the word, detente. And then there is another word called entente. Okay, what's the difference? Do you know? What is detente? I, I don't like the translation. Detente is called detente. What does that mean? It's almost like Excuse me. It's almost like you are uh, having this uh, swing that is so low. Guys. <laughs> okay. So what do we mean by detente? You know what? People are calling right now Taiwan's relation with China a detente. Okay? They called it the second detente. Wow, where, when is the first detente? Taiwan and China. In the late 80s and early 1990, when we set up SAF and China set up ARATS. You may think about the Hai Hui. Uh, but in China, they have to call it Wang Gu. Okay. Uh, I don't know, you know, uh, you just, we just feel good. Gu Wang, right? We call Jiang Chen Hui. Right? China call Chen Jiang Hui. Right? I think Jiang Chen is better than Chen Jiang. Chen Jiang almost like old ginger or something. Uh, so, so uh, Jiang Chen Hui. 
But that's detente. Detente means you are enemy before, but you reconcile, you have peace, we call it detente. Okay? But what is entente? Hmm? Just good friend, which is natural friend. Okay? Uh, detente is you make an effort. <laughs> Uh, you don't like each other, but you try to maintain, you know, this reconciliation and peace. Sometimes people use the word rapprochement, okay? But rapprochement, a French word, uh, I think there's an A here somewhere. Huh? Rapprochement, okay. Yeah. No A. Okay, so detente and tang. Uh, rapprochement, also like making up. Uh, like uh, right now will be uh, United States and Cuba. Rapprochement. Okay. So uh, this is uh, detente and relation between uh, Turkey and Syria. So. We, we need to look at the map. Turkey here. Syria is very much the south of Turkey. Uh, east, you have Armenia. You have Iran here. You have west, you have Greece, right? So, relation with Syria improved. Uh, also reaching out to Tehran. Tehran is the capital of where? Ms. Zhang. Iran, okay, and then Turkey has played a role as negotiated between Syria and Israel. Now, uh, most of the Middle Eastern countries do not talk to Israel. Okay, but o nowadays few can talk to Israel, including uh, one of the adversaries before, we call Egypt. Egypt and Israel, because they both took so much money from the United States, they have to pretend to be friends. Okay, uh, Jordan usually is okay, uh, but Turkey is one that can talk to Israel, uh, but not very successful. And then they also have this uh, calculation that Armenia could tighten Turkey's tie to uh, Russia. Because Turkey said, hey, I have a good friend with you, Armenia, which is supported by Russia. So maybe that will help to improve the relation. So zero problem. Uh, try to be friend with everyone uh, in the area. Guo Jun Yi. Yeah, next. Cyprus. Rejuvenate. Okay, so here, if they both succeeded, uh, you can solve the problem. Intractable, what does that mean? Intractable dispute. Hmm? What do we mean by intractable? Just something cannot be solved. You know, something very difficult uh, to deal. Uh, disputes. You understand dispute. Uh, a lot of time is we call border dispute. Uh, do we have any border dispute? No. Taiwan. Oh, thank God we we have border dispute with ocean. Uh, do we have a border dispute at all? Or territorial dispute? Do we have one? Jiao Yu Tai. Who? How many of you know Diao Yu Tai belong to where? 
in Taiwan, if you go to the post office, Diao Yutan actually had a, a zip code. Yo yu yo di chi ha. Where? Yilan County. Diao Yutan su yu yilan xian. Okay. It's a little bit like uh, Bai Ling Dao of Korea. Belong to where? Ren Chuan. Oh, so far. Bai Ling Dao is here. Ren Chuan is there. Okay, but uh, so uh, territorial dispute between uh, Japan and Korea, they have a Du Dao. Du Dao Zi Zhen. Sometimes they call Zu Dao. Sometimes Korea called Du Dao, I think. In tai- Taiwan and Japan, we might have a Diao Yu Tai. And do we have anything with uh, the Philippines? <coughs> yes. South China Sea. Hey, we Nanza Qingdao, we are still there. Claim. Okay, so that's what we call territorial dispute, border dispute, territorial dispute, 争议啊，领土争议，边境争议 ，a lot, always, you will always have those. Uh, even inside, do we have anything inside? People claim, like. Uh, uh, a district in Taiwan, people say, oh, this is Xinzhu County. So people say, no, this is part of Taoyuan County. No. Do we have a boundary between We call zoning or uh, apartment. Some people are having your house. People say, oh, you're, you know, you know, your boundary overstep my area. So we have a kind of boundary. 不叫领土，叫什么？叫我的房子的土地纠纷。OK， I think。So dispute， 啊、uh, ，but divided Cyprus。OK， now Cyprus is where is Cyprus？ 嗯、hmm? ，Cyprus is、uh, south of Turkey. Is here. I don't know why the Greeks want to come all the way here. You know, half of the island. Islanders, Greek descendants, and uh, they divided here. So, since 1970s, uh, Cyprus is one of the few European country you still have peacekeeping forces. Oh, I love to be peacekeeper in Cyprus. Not very dangerous, you know, just peaceful there. Okay, uh, but it's divided. Uh, they also. True reconciliation may rejuvenate. So, Mr. Guo, what do you mean by rejuvenate? Okay, now, do we have someone who is playing basketball now? Like having, we, we call passe. You understand passe? But one day he just had a great game. Like, wow, he's coming back. You know, we call have a, just rejuvenated his career. Uh, let me think of someone. Let's say in baseball, do we have someone who is considered a passe? And then, how about uh, normal? Do you know normal? Normal. Normal 叫什么？野帽。哦，野帽。Normal, 野猫英雄，大家都认为他是 passe 了吧 ？Suddenly, he reinvented himself in another team. Let's say, uh, another team called Washington National. Okay, and he threw two games, one perfect game, one uh, what do we call no hit? 一个无安打，一个完全比赛。<laughs> People say, oh, Hidel Normal is back. He just rejuvenated his career in Washington, so that's what we call rejuvenate. Or a politician, someone who is a passe, like one time rejuvenated his career, now also began a passe. Someone called Wu Bo Xiong, right? Wu Bo Xiong is like already, you know, like play, playing with his grandkids, <coughs> and suddenly became chairman of the KMT, and then won the election. So rejuvenation, okay. Uh, I know there are also some men who look like a passe, 
and then marry a younger woman and suddenly rejuvenate it, okay, as well, right? Or an older woman marry a younger man, like, uh, what's her name? Madonna? Mad- Madonna. Madonna always get rejuvenated, dating a younger man, right? So that's what we call rejuvenation, uh, getting young. So turkey stall, we, we talk about stall, means being what? S- stuck there, not moving. For membership in the European Union, or oh, they love to be European Union, but not. Uh, and they want to show they are not security problem solver. They are security solver, problem solver, not what? Like in Taiwan, we will be called one time troublemaker. Okay, so they are problem solver. More trade in the region will be more greater prosperity. Okay, next one, Dan Zhu Wen. The provision for a commission to impartially examine history or records in archives. Archives. Archives may not bring to pastor and his argument about the bombing and massacre. 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 Mm-hmm. But it can create an atmosphere of more open discussion. And that's needed in both countries. At the same time, international medi- mediation continues on Nagorn- Nagorno-Karabakh. <laughs> Nagorno. Nagorno-Karabakh. like not being like defending like a side, just, just being in the middle, trying to make the balance? Uh, usually in Taiwan, we accuse the Korean Empire not being very impartial, right? We call them the patriotic empire. We sometimes say that the Chinese empire So not very impartial. Impartial means very objective. Okay, you're not partial with someone means you don't favor someone. Okay, so impartial here is not favoring. So uh, impartial, both sides, you know, not because I'm from Turkey that I will give the version that favor Turkey. So impartial, uh, exam historical records and archive. What do you mean by archives? It's, it's, it's recorders. It's also records. Uh, it's being classified mostly. Uh, your professor, uh, when I first went to the United States, I transferred from one university to another. They said, this is, no, no, you cannot do that. You have to go to the university, which is the one giving you the I-20, you know, the admission. So at least you have to stay there for one semester before you can make the transfer. But my university, the other university, I also got the admission. Later, after I arrived in the United States, I got the admission. But I want to go to this university. They said, well, we have to invent a reason for you to come. So they said, well, what do we have that the other university does not have? They said, oh, in our history department, we have a program called archive management. And... That's the only one in Texas. So you, you have to show your interest in archive management and because the other university doesn't have, so we can keep you stay and keep you here. And in order to make this look real, why don't you take the class called archive management? So I took a class called archive management, Dang An Guan Li. Okay, so studying like what I did was I... Uh, personally, was working in the library on a former congressman, you know, ex-congressman who was defeated, but served three terms in the Congress. Once he was defeated, he donated all the paper to our library. So I began to classify the material and put them in boxes that is acid-free. 
one, you know, just putting them and then, you know, classify them. And then because he was a congressman, so I understood a lot about American politics. That's why I began to study politics. Okay, so archival management in Taiwan. Do we have that? We have like archive, almost like collection, you know, special collection. You didn't have Kechang, but it's different. Just Dang An Guanli. So in China, they have a lot of, you know, if you have an exchange program with uh, Beijing University, and you ask, you know, the students, say, hey, you ben ke, oh, 大陆不能说你你这什么主修什么，说本科本科什么党管哦，党管什么是党管？档案管理 ，OK， 档管 ，OK。So they have archive management. So you look at the archives, 档案 ，right? To find may not breach means you have to reach a middle, right? Ah,、uh, the disagreement ah、uh, about the Armenian massacre. So can we do that? So like say, oh, ah,、uh, uh, Armenian said 1.5 million people died. Turkish said a half million died. Oh, why don't we just plus and divide it by two? So one million died. Okay. So、uh, no, you have to look at the records. Okay,、uh, about this massacre,、uh, and can create an at- atmosphere of open discussion. People are going to do that, and that is needed in both country.、Uh, usually, in in Turkey, we call this one a taboo. Right. What is a taboo? A taboo is no no. All right.、Uh, what would be a no no?、Uh, for example, Dan Zhu Wen in Taiwan, you cannot date a girl whose last name is Dan. Hmm. Uh, in in Taiwan, we don't marry the same person. The person with the same last name. 现在还有吗？有，怎么没有？ For example, if your last name is Song, do we have someone Song here? You cannot marry someone Qian. That's not good. Okay. Ah,、uh, no, no. Tabu. Ah, for example, my last name is Yan. We we have someone Yan here. Yan cannot marry. Someone, of course, with Yan, but also another one. What is the other one? Yan, 不能跟这个庄结婚了。No, no, because you know what, Zhuang originally is 姓严。庄子是要严子，你们没有读过吗？严子杀妻。哦，啊，徐 ，Don't marry someone with 徐。I think they. You know, what else? No, I'm, I'm kidding. Come on, <laughs> who cares now, right? Who cares now? But hey, some people still care, right? Or can you marry a very distant relative who happened to be your auntie? Could be. 跟一个远房、远房、好几远房不太相关的一个姑姑辈结婚，可以吗？不，没有血缘的哦，但是也是这种什么？这种 ，OK， for example， let let let's put it this way， OK， 啊、uh, ， if you're going to marry， 啊、uh, ， your mother's distant cousin， distant cousin， let's say。How, you know, very far away. Okay, but still, it's your relative. In Taiwan, we cannot have first ma- we cannot have marriage now between the first cousin. Am I right? The first and the 表兄妹不能结婚了。婉君表妹的故事是假的吗？婉君表妹 ，It's a movie. You know, in China, traditionally, they just love like you know, two sister would love to have their kids marry. I said that's crazy, but that's part of it. They say 亲上加亲 okay, but、uh, that's also a taboo later because of the you know generic problem, right?、Uh, so you understand what is a taboo?、Uh, here in Turkey, don't talk about 1915. Don't even mention that year. 
Okay, you you don't have to say Armenian massacre. No, you just say 1915. It's like in Taiwan, you said 228 before. Like, no, we don't have a 228. We we every year we celebrate 229. You know the leap day, uh, 任月. Okay, that's before. So taboo. Finally, Ong Yingzhi. Yeah. Okay, so here, nationalist forces, just like I mentioned earlier about China and Japan. Uh, the nationalists in China, I know what would they do. Like if someone show they are not macho or man enough to stand up to their adversary, most of these politicians will receive a bottle of calcium from their people. Do you understand? What, what is calcium? It's not here. Huh? What is calcium? Very important word, calcium. Gai. Gai pian. Ah, zhenzi ren wu zi yao dui di shou ruan luo, ma shang shou dao yi da dui xue ming ji gei ta gai pian. Qing ni de ji dui yin qi lai. Oh, OK. Stand up, you know, be straight. So, we may have to give some money to Ma Yingzhou. Ma Yingzhou may need a lot of information. He doesn't need it. We are negotiating with China. We want someone who can stand up, right? He's standing up. This is what, what he's doing right now. OK. But, so, <laughs> so this is what we call national forces. Nationalist forces will send their politician calcium. Okay? Okay. In Turkey and Armenia, we'll try to derail the agreement, saying derail. What do you mean by derail? Oh, we have train being derailed. <laughs> okay, that's what we call derail. Okay, derail. Okay, derail the agreement and prevent ratification. Take skilled leadership on the parts of the two leaders. Sail past political shows. What do we mean by show? Hmm? Tan. Okay, something that, hey, you, you're sailing. You want to be on water. You don't want to touch all this. Uh, almost like So all the way to collect... <coughs> Oslo in Oslo. Where is Oslo? Hey, wait a second. I thought Nobel Prize is from Sweden. How come we have a Norway here? Ah, oh, there used to be one country. No. The Peace Prize is offered in Oslo. Okay, physicists will go to Stockholm. Hmm? 啊,你們清華有物理系,有一些同學未來是要拿諾貝爾是啊。啊,OK,so uh, okay, you are going to Sweden. Uh, but peace prize is in Oslo in Norway. So next year maybe this will happen. So uh, you will write something. I give you some background already. I give you the example of China and Japan. I give you the example of uh, so uh, Germany and Poland or Germany and France, right? How they reconcile? Uh, you know, is this historical mission commission going to work? Uh, how do you uh, look at this? Uh, should you forget and forgive? Uh, so those are the questions. Now, we also have one more to update. Uh, is about ooh, where is my? Okay, it's not. In, I will send this to you later, but. Uh, Hopefully you can read this one. Oh. Moscow. Because in Moscow we have something I want to ask you again. Similar question almost. Okay. Uh, you cannot have 200. 
the most you can have is 175, I think. Okay, only the people in the front might be able to read it. Uh, oh. Hong Bo Xuan, can you read? You cannot. You can read the top. Okay. Uh, Moscow <laughs> attack. Uh, okay, okay, come on, give me the. Give me this. Okay, now, now, very important idea about terror. What is terrorism? Okay, now we have the day before yesterday, we have the bombing, and then people got killed. We said that's an act of terrorism. So, what, how is it different from other killings? Can you tell me? So it is not announced. But usually they claim responsibility, right? Okay, it's not announced. So, uh, so there is a one thing very important about terrorism is what? The element of surprise. <gasps> if it's not surprise, it's not. I mean, it's like, oh, we're going to bomb. No, that's not terror. Okay, terrorism has to have that kind of element of surprise in modern day. Uh, how about nine one one? Do you think that was a surprise? Yes. It should be right. And then all the other attacks, like uh, a year ago in India in the Bombay Hotel, uh, uh, or the Bali in Indonesia, all this bombing, uh, kind of like surprise. So element of surprise is important. Uh, what else? In a terror. They kill innocent. They kill innocent. Okay, no. Usually we said soldiers are not supposed to kill innocent. But when you kill innocent means there is an element of we call indiscrimination. Which is again some of you have taken my class before. Uh, discrimination, you understand discrimination, right? Discrimination means uh you have a biased view on someone. And discrimination is a good thing in a battle because international law said you should discriminate. You should discriminate the civilian from the soldiers. You don't kill soldiers. Uh, you don't kill civilians. You don't kill women and children. Please discriminate. And someone said, no, don't discriminate. I'm just as good as a warrior. Please also put me as a target. Right? Do we do that? No. So discrimination is a good word only in the battlefield. Okay? In hiring, in education, no, don't do that. But in battlefield, discrimination is a good word. But terrorists, they don't discriminate. And that's the reason they're powerful. Because if you know um, you are not a target, then there is no fear. Okay, now even in September 11, 911, in that building, okay, people said, oh, this is a Twin Tower, the New York Financial Center. Must be a lot of Jewish people there, right? Maybe, okay, there are some Jewish people. But there are also Arabs in that building, also Chinese, also all kinds of people. So. Today you would think, oh, the Middle Eastern, the Arab people, the, the Muslim, they must target the Americans, the Jews. So if you're not a Jewish, if you're not an American, you say, well, I'm safe, they're not going to target me. Then there is no fear. They want to create an element of fear. And that fear means indiscrimination. So any, it can happen to anyone. Now, when it happened to you, you said, I didn't do anything to offend you know, the terrorist. Uh, you're not going to blame the terrorist. You're going to blame the government 
who caused the resentment of the terrorist. And then you would, what they're trying to do is ask you to put pressure on your government to change policy. So that's what we call, in, you know, this uh, element of s surprise and also of, of this indiscrimination, so create that fear. Okay, so it's important to have that. Uh, what else? Uh, sometimes people say a, terror, a terrorism doesn't have to actually kill someone. Just the possibility of being killed will be sufficient. You know, you worry so much. For example, today in Moscow, taking the subway, uh, you worry. Uh, if we have, in Taiwan, people say, oh, what will be a target of terrorist attack in Taiwan? You know, I, uh, the previous government uh, took some advice from us. So uh, I joined some of the meeting of anti-terrorist prevention, kind of terrorism prevention group from our government. And they said, Ooh, the first target is 101. Do you think it will be 101? Will be a target? I was, I was thinking of because it's the symbol of Taiwan, anyway. Okay. But now, have we offended anyone that inviting people to attack Taiwan? China, maybe. <laughs> well, no. China will not try to use terrorists against Taiwan because that would, they will lose Taiwan forever. So they will not do that. But okay, we supported American effort in Afghanistan. Mm. We sent something, okay? We sent a lot of material to support the Americans. So we can be a target, okay? Uh, but people said 101 will be, might be one, and they, the second most likely target will be one. What? NTHU? <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Be happy here. <laughs> Which one? AIT, American Institute in Taiwan. Okay, the American non-official ambassador in Taipei. Xing Yi Rou, so don't go too close there. It's a target, okay? Hmm? Okay, so that's the area people say mine. Okay, uh, what other places people might want to do? Uh, would they do a terrorist attack uh, in Nantou County. <laughs> Earlier we mentioned about Nantou County. Would that be good? Yushan, that's good. That's also symbol of Taiwan. You know, the J Mountain, the top, uh, being <laughs> hatched. No. Terrorists need to kill people, real people. Okay, I don't think we have a lot in Nantou. So it's always subway. You know, you look at the terrorist attack in Great Britain, Subway station, right? Uh, in Moscow, also hotel. And also in subway station, in hotel, what do you find? A lot of them are just different group of people, not just one targeted people. Because if you attack, let's say, a military camp very close to Xinzhu, what, would, what kind of military camp very close to NTHU? Okay. Uh, where, where else? Do we still have it in Guangdong Chao? No, not anymore. Okay. Ten years ago, I still watched, you know, I still saw some soldiers walking in that area. Uh, okay, but right now we still have it in Hukou. No, I don't think they will attack military camp because that way you, ordinary citizen, will have no fear. So you have to have, like, in Taipei 101 or subway station, Taipei sub subway station, all the people there, if one day a bomb, you know, uh, exploded, then nobody dare to take the subway, right? So that's, a ver that's, the, that's their target. And then the worst one in Moscow, anyone can tell me who were the terrorists? Do you know? Just ordinary women. They brought suicide bomb with them. You know, 
women, you, people think, oh, you know, a terrorist, you have to have a profile. We call profiling. Uh, 中文不要怎么翻译, profile. Like, a uh, uh, terrorist has to be an Arab, right? Terrorist has to be young. You know, you don't find a lot of people with gray hair saying, I'm a terrorist, right? Usually it's in their 20s and 30s. Uh, usually you, people in, in the United States will say, oh, must be an Arab, okay? Uh, but this will defy your view, the stere- stereotypical view of a terrorist in Moscow, the bombing, two women. Uh, now people call them, you know, extremists. They call them black widow. What is a black widow? Uh, okay, so spider. So these are the ones uh, uh, in Moscow. And most of them are from, not happy with which area? Chechenia, Chechen. Right? Uh, so it's in this area here, uh, north of the Caucasus here, Chechenia here, and Dagestan here. So those are the area of the extremists. And remember, Soviet Union, or right now we call Russia, religiously still considered broadly Christian. And this region mostly are Muslim. So you have this religious difference. And, uh, Terror, terrorists usually said, we have no other means to express our view. The government won't listen. So this is almost like the final resort. You have to use terrorist means. So I think what we will read about this, um, and it will help you uh, in the future, is just to understand, can, almost like a military coup, can they be justified? You know, if the Palestinians in Israel, they have been deprived of their hometown and the homeland and the West do not support them. So the only thing to make the international community know about the injustice of the Russian government or the Israeli government is using bombs, suicide bombs. And people begin to say, why? Why are these, you know, young Palestinians strap themselves with the bomb. And then what is the, we call, message? Usually they have a message, right? The terrorists, uh, do you think the terrorists will bomb something and say, oh, I just had fun? <laughs> no. Those, those, uh, those are not really terrorists. Terrorists has a message. Remember this. There is a message. Like in Xinjiang, we, we call the you know, Xinjiang Independence Movement, they also they consider being terrorists. Uh, American State Department has a list of all the terrorists. And th- this terrorist also has a goal, message, is uh, we want independence. Okay. Tibet doesn't have terrorists. Okay. Uh, other countries you will find terrorists, mostly for autonomy, for independence, or like Armenian also have terrorists in the United States, killing Turkish diplomats because of the Armenian massacre. So those are the terrorists. Surprise, (coughs) fear, message. Okay, remember those keywords. Okay, I'll see you next week.